you are you're good. All right. We are finally ready for some studio construction. <laughs> We've got some uh, basketball coming today. JP and helping us out. Hanging out. It's been quite a battle. We've got the framing and all the insulation up. But, um, yeah, we are ready for some plasterboard today. We're about four tonne of plasterboard coming in about half an hour. So, plasterboard shortage is over. <laughs> <laughs> it would seem, anyway. Um, yeah, we've got our all framed up and insulated the, uh, the main soundproofing, which is the plasterboard that's coming today. Sort it out. <laughs> yeah, we are looking quite good. We have our control room over here which is our main room, so our studio desk is going to be sitting over here. And this control room is fully isolated from our other rooms. So there's one of our studio windows here. Um, so fully separated frames. There's Jake, where he's going to be hiding with his drum kit. Yep, assume the position right there. Uh, we've got a little uh, airlock vocal booth. Try and go in here. There's a wall that's still got to go over here. We've got the plasterboard in today. And then uh, this is our main live room <coughs> uh, where we're going to be having all of our performers. But we've got everything isolated off the actual tin shed. So this was, or still is, <laughs> typical tin garden shed. So this thing is just the temporary shed um, before we build the main studio. So this thing is about nine by six meters. Can shed on a slab, its own water, but the real studio over the hill here where Admiral wants to get into. So up the hill there, it's been hard to see, there's another acre and a half, and uh, yeah, right dead centre of that screen up the top of the hill where it's going in six months, two years, <laughs> ten years. <laughs> I'd like to say it would be finished in two years, but um, yeah, we're going about 500 square metres, it'll be ten times the size. Literally 10 times the size of this shed is about 55 square metres. That one's about 500 square metres. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and have a look at the studio. There's a Migaloo hanging out. Besides music box in the house. We'll be creating the plasterboard shortage next yes. two years from now. We'll be out long. <laughs> Apparently there's some guys coming to unload it for us. We don't have to do anything. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, but yeah, the whole time is isolated off the tin shed. So there's a tin shed with insulation, rock wall, and then there's a, an air gap. And then we have a wooden frame, three isolated wooden frames. As you can see here, you can see a little bit up left open. There's a video up the top here. There's the tin shed and insulation and then gap. And all three of these rooms are separated from each other. So there's a gap running down here and you can see over here with the, the door as well we have a sliding glass door that is on the tin shed and then an air gap let's go put some trim around here and then another set of sliding glass doors so this stuff is eight mil double blaze should do something. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of uh, HVAC boxes to get air in. So that's our air coming in there to this room and air going out. And air going in is over there behind the glass. You see the rest of our doors. Oh, yeah. And then air going out over here. So both of these rooms are going to be air cons. And then air from those two rooms is going to pump into this room, which is the vocal booth. How to cool the vocal booth. Uh, we had the two more glass sliding doors. Airs going on each side. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got some sawdust in my throat. COVID. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we've got two sets of glass sliding doors going here and another two sets going here, fully isolated. So again, each room is completely separated from each other and also isolated from the actual tin shed as well. So any vibrations going through the studio won't be going into the um we've packed most of the shed airtight as best as we can and um yeah jake and i have been spending the last two months building this monster of a frame inside this tin shed without actually touching any of the other outside tin shed just being in a bit of an order <laughs> see we have gaps and separation joining every part 
Um, we went a bit overboard with the framing, got 90 by 35 MGP 12. But um, I'm just paranoid about the 16 mil fire check. <laughs> Wait, it was about four ton, uh, which is the main soundproofing. So the plaster that's coming today is the the main aspect of the soundproofing, but the isolation is going to make a big difference as well. But yeah, big hand to give me a hand. Um, okay. Only at that point where the whole studio is going to come together and um, we're going to be soundproofed. Um, like to say in a week or two we can make a shitload of noise and no one will ever hear us. Uh, we're <laughs> fully isolated slab. Uh, the neighbours are a good 30 to 50 metres away. Uh, so we should be fine. Uh, Live streaming exclusively to SoundCloud. Yes. <laughs> we're doing a lot of streaming. Um, we have my studio set up anyway and the stuff out of the house. My studio gear is currently in the cinema room. And it's getting a little stressful tripping over cables and trying to get to things. So um, it would be nice to have a dedicated space. It still feels small. In here, it's um it's bigger than most studios, but not most studios, but studios I've had. It, <laughs> it still feels small, so I'm keen for the, the larger facility up over the hill, and um I'll be able to sit here mixing and watch them build that over the hill. Well, I'll be building the inside, but they'll be building the shed anyway. And there's a nice little outdoor deck and area will be out here outside the studio, so we've got clients to come and chill out. Quite nice down here. Um, but yeah, there's been many hours, about 500 so far into this thing. I've made many mistakes. I've broken many things. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost blood numerous times, blisters, splinters, needles in my hand. I put a nail through my foot. <laughs> no, I just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. Didn't need stitches, just needed some band aids. Um, but yeah, I'd like to say that the studio is just about ready for our plastering. I think the, uh, the main hero of the construction would be the drop saw and the nail gun. Yeah, MVP. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Nail, not gun. nail gun and drop saw. But yeah, we are um, going to sit here and wait for our plaster. And um, hopefully we'll be doing some drums and a couple of weeks we've got a couple of clients lined up for the end of the month so um he did his blaster in as soon as possible i'm sure don we keep as well and um yeah jake will be in here drumming before we know it some jams but, um, definitely need some aircon. <laughs> but um yeah we are off and running and we're gonna have a whole bunch of glass for the whole place so it's fine hey yeah it's good it's gonna be good comfort visibility um, and then we got a whole bunch of acoustic work to do after the soundproof yeah. is finished. But at least we can start tracking about creating a room. That's the fun and easy part, the acoustic stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, and we got some Tasmanian oak hardwood floor going in as well, but I need the plaster first. Um, yeah. That'll be nice to have some good solid wood floors in here. Anyway, thanks guys. Enjoy.